Hello everyone and welcome to another SQL Query Training Session with Learn at No Star. In today's session, we are going to write a SQL Query to insert line feed and carriage written characters in our data, which are equivalent to splitting a single line into multiple lines, but the data remains in the same column. So let's see how we can achieve this. So we have declared a variable called data and that variable has this value. This is line one dot this is line two dot this is line three and so on. So let's say now there's a requirement in which we want to split these lines into separate lines. So at every dot or period character, we want to split it into a separate line. So how can we achieve this? Uh, the way we can achieve this is by inserting those carriage return and line feed characters. How we can insert them is by using their SKI equivalent codes, which are character 10 and character 13, which is simply what we need to concatenate in a string to achieve this. So in simple terms, it would be something uh, like if we would have declared a data instead of uh, like this, if we just go and concatenate the char 10 and the char 13 characters over here and we keep on concatenating them then that is what it will become okay so let's do this so if our data let's say is like this it will be automatically having those line feed and carriage written character so this is simply what we need to do concatenate the character 10 and character 13 characters in our data now when there's a requirement like this where we have a long list of data which we need to split what we can do is we can also use a replace function so instead of this what we can do is we can use a replace function and replace a uh, in our case, we need to replace the period character, which is the dot character. So we're going to replace the dot. And what we're going to replace the dot with is with a dot plus a char 10 plus a char 13 character. And let's close our brackets. And now let's see what is the output that we are getting. So we are going to run this again. And this is the output that we have got. So now we can see in the output, uh, we cannot explicitly see these lines splitting into multiple lines, though we can see that there's some space that has been introduced here. So what we now need to do is copy this because it will not be visible in your SQL Server Management Studio or a place like that. So you need to copy it to see what is happening. Now, once we copy this, we see that still these lines have not been split into multiple lines. There's still some space between them instead of those characters. Now why that happens is basically because in SQL Server Management Studio version 2016 and above they have that options, um, they have provided the ability to uh, explicitly define that over here. So what do you know, uh, what you need to do is go to, let's do that again, let's go to tools, go to options over here, go to query results, in query results go to SQL Server, results to grid and here you will see that there's an option retain carries return line feed on copy or save. So if you check this then when you actually copy it will retain this in your actual data. But though even it is not retaining, just doing it like this means that you have inserted the, those characters in your data. So the data is all right. It's only that it's not visible to the plain eye when you are copying it. So now that we have said that, let's create a new query over here. Copy our code. Okay. Copy the entire code over here. And now let's execute our query. Okay. And now I'm going to copy the same thing to a notepad and see if 
this has worked so this has worked this is how the data actually is in the database and now this is visible to our eye because we have made that setting change in the sql server management studio so this is a very simple um, way in which you can split the data into multiple lines in the same row in the same column by just inserting these characters so you just need to be aware of the sky equivalent of these different uh, control characters in your data so I hope that you found this video useful. If you did, then please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I will see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Goodbye.